for the entrance let us take him number 21 on page 7 joy was in my heart when i heard the people say let us go up to the temple of the lord and now we are This mass is offered for the soul of Blasco de Monte Fortato. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. As we come before the altar of God this morning, the Lord calls us to examine our love, devotion, faith, and trust in His Word. He says, heaven and earth may pass away, but my words will not pass away. They will endure forever. So as we come before this holy altar of God, let us surrender ourselves into the presence of God along with all our prayers and petitions that we have brought in our hearts. And now let's examine our hearts and minds to prepare ourselves for the worthy celebration, sincerely asking pardon and mercy from God. I confess to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that, that I, I have, have greatly sinned, sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what, what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my faults, through, through my faults, through my most devious fault. Therefore, I ask blessed to Mary, Virgin, all the angels, the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, to pray for me, the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy on you, people gathered here. Christ, have mercy on you. Let us pray. Stir up the will of your faithful, we pray, O Lord, that striving more eagerly to bring your divine work to fruitful completion, they may receive in greater measure the healing remedies your kindness bestows. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, saw an angel coming down from heaven, holding in his hand the key to the bottomless pit and a great chain. And he sees the dragon, that ancient serpent, who is the devil and Satan, and bound him for a thousand years and threw him into the pit and shut it and sealed it over him so that he might not deceive the nations any longer until the thousand years were ended. After that, he must be released for a little while. Then I saw thrones, 
and seated on them were those to whom the authority to judge was committed. Also I saw the souls of those who had been beheaded for the testimony of Jesus and for the word of God and those who had not worshipped the beast or its image and had not received its mark on their foreheads or their hands, they came to life and reigned with Christ for a thousand years. Then I saw a great white throne and in him who was seated on it. For his presence earth and sky fled away and no place was found for them. And I saw the dead, great and small, standing before the throne and books were opened. Then another book was opened, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged by what was written in the books according to what they had done. And the sea gave up the dead who were in it. Death and hates gave up the dead who were in them. And they were judged, each one of them, according to what they had done. The death and hates were thrown into the lake of fire. This is the second death, the lake of fire. And if anyone's name was not found written in the book of life, he was thrown into the lake of fire. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and the sea was no more. And I saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Response. Behold, the dwelling of God is with men. Behold, Behold the, the dwelling, dwelling of God, God is, is with, with men. men. My soul is longing and yearning for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh cry out to the living God. Response. Behold, the dwelling of the Lord is with men. Even the sparrow finds a home, and the swallow a nest for herself, in which she sets her young at your altars. O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. Response. Behold, Behold the, the dwelling, dwelling of, of God, God is with men. Blessed are they who dwell in your house, forever singing your praise. Blessed the people whose strength is in you, they walk with ever-growing strength. Response. Behold, Behold the, dwelling the dwelling of God, God is with men. Acclamation. Kindly rise. Straighten up and raise your heads, because your redemption is drawing near. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, o Lord. At that time, Jesus told his disciples a parable. Look at the fig tree and all the trees. As soon as they come out in leaf, you see for yourselves. And know that the summer is already near. So also, when you see these things taking place, you know that the kingdom of God is near. Truly, I say to you, this generation will not pass away until all has taken place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away.
The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. Endurance is the name of the American reality television program in which contestants of the uh, endurance live in a remote locations and participate in different or in various physical and mental challenges. And the outcome of the competitions determines which players are eliminated. And the winners receive an all expensive paid vacation packages to an exotic locations as the prize. Yes, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, Christian life is, is also a test of endurance. Unlike a reality show, it is the real life. Unlike we have in the real life, there are various mental, emotional, spiritual, and physical challenges that we go through. So unlike as an all expenses paid vacation packages as prize, the Christian test of endurance rewards eternal life. And the cause for the day is a call to bring, to be committed as Christian life, to endurance of trusting always in the enduring word of God. The Lord invites us to focus our attention to the word of God. The words have immense power and potential. They can cut, they can heal, they can break, they can build, they can crush and they can also console. And the God's word has ultimate and ultimate control and the potential power. God's promises through his words are forever and this is clearly manifested when we travel to the pages of the Bible. The father of faith Abraham, when he was called to go to distant and unknown land, he encountered many challenges, difficulties, yet his enduring faith and trust in the Lord brought fulfillment in his life. And thus, we are reminded that heaven and earth may pass away, but God's word will not pass away. And therefore, today we can examine in our own life what is my love, devotion, and how much time do I devote to the word of God, especially reading the word of God? What is my faith, trust, and hope in God's word, especially in moments of life-crushing events and soul hurting situations. Do I endure and trust in the enduring and eternal power of God's word? There have been times when my life, my family, my community, and my world gets reduced to total despair and discouragements. Do I endure and be positive in the enduring power of God's word? The Lord has promised each one of us immense blessings and grace through his word. Yes, sometimes we feel that God's words are barren and infertile, like in the case of Abraham. Sometimes we get frustrated, we doubt, maybe like Moses when he was called to become a liberator, he was promised that he would be empowered by God's word, but even in the long journey he doubted, he got discouragement, yet he remained, they, they remained faithful to God's word. Even in the uh, case of Job, when his life was completely tested, even to the core, when he underwent all the sufferings, he remained faithful to the word of God, to God. And therefore today, Lord says, reminds us, even at times when we all go through in, in our life different situations, difficulties, and we feel that God's word is not finding meaning in my own life. But the Lord today invites us to remain faithful, trustful, and patient. So therefore, let's ask God's grace during this Holy Christ 
that we may always remain faithful to God's word, we show greater love and devotion by reading, pondering, and reflecting, and going deeper and deeper in the knowledge of God and in his relationship, and experience God's blessings in our life. For God says, heaven and earth may pass away, but my words will not pass away. For this grace we pray. Hymn number 126 on page 35. Brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice from your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, the sacred offerings which at your binding and dedicate to your name, and in order that through these gifts we may become worthy of your love, grant us unfailing obedience to your commands. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and every way to give you thanks, Father most holy. Through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angel and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Son in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Son You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending the honest spirit upon them by the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and he entered willing his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by our cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that part of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Philip Neri, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy in us all, we pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have preached throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to our life. I may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, temptation but, but deliver us from Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of our mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy, worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only, only say the word, and my soul shall be For communion, please take hymn number 169 on page 51.
with the eyes of our heart with the ears of our heart let us see jesus and let us listen to him for he has come into our hearts he is dwelling within us he is abiding in us what a joy to meet our lord what a joy to see him what a joy to listen to him this very jesus is present in each one of you we can see jesus in you we can see jesus and hear jesus through you let us thank jesus let us praise jesus my dear brothers and sisters today evening we have blessing of madi fama at 5:45 down the steps and from tomorrow we begin the novena in honor of our patroness that should be a great joy to celebrate the novena and the feast because our lady of immaculate conception mother mary mother of jesus is our mother too she is protecting us guiding us so we will have three novena masses one at 7 am at 8 am in english and in the evening at 6 pm the novena masses at 8 am at 6 pm will be celebrated by pillar fathers and they will proclaim the word of god a special message for all of us for all our parishioners therefore i invite and i appeal to all our parishioners to come and participate in large numbers in the novena mass at 8 o'clock and in the evening at 6 pm in the evening we have a salve which will be sung by little children see the joy in um, listening to the word of god and our angel singing so beautifully mother mary will be happy and pleased to see us and especially because she is our patroness at 7:30 in the morning there will be a rosary in english and at 5:30 in the evening there will be rosary in konkani let us make an effort a little effort make a time to come here and god will bless you through mother mary kindly rise for prayer and blessing let us pray we pray almighty god that those to whom you give the joy of participating in divine mysteries may never be parted from you through Christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit we almighty god bless you the father and the son and the holy spirit amen go forth the mass is celebrated thanks be to god number 200 on page 62 Like a sun that follows every moment of the sun
Like a song. 